Hey everyone, Creating Spaces here, back with a quick update on uh, the Cliffix for Bitwig system called Bitix. Uh, we made a few improvements, uh, added some commands. So, uh, maybe first things first, uh, again, where can you uh, get uh, the script? You can go to the GitHub page here, um, I'll provide the link, uh, go to download me, and then here, uh, download raw file. Uh, it will download it and then you just have to put it um, in in your Bitwig Studio folder inside extensions uh, and here uh, you just unzip the whole folder it's called personal here and here you have the extension and the uh, display app so um, first of all what commands are available uh, so if you go on the right top of your uh, Bitwig window you can see uh, your uh, scripts or uh, controller scripts. Here I've made a drop down with, uh, for example, BPM. It sets the BPM, some kind of documentation system. Uh, what parameters can you use? Uh, example here, set node filter, how to use it. Uh, you have to set the, the node names here, etc., etc. So very handy uh, if you want to check the commands that are available at the moment. Uh, what is new, you can now have um, more than one uh, command per uh, clip name. So here you have uh, SCF, SNF, SNT. This is set channel filter, set node filter, uh, and set node transpose. So uh, let's go over the commands really quickly here. So BPM, uh, yeah, this sets the BPM. As you can see, it changes here to 140, handy. Uh, set channel filter. Uh, you can set more than uh, one channel, so here 4, 14 and 15 are set. Set node filter. Uh, this is super important to me personally and I will explain that later because uh, yeah, if you want to automate this one, you have to go inside your clip uh, and for every node here, the min and max that you want to change, you have to uh, set a value from 0 to 127, which you never know uh, what node it is, so it's a, it's a hustle. So. Set node filter d1 e4. Uh, the, the, the script uh, translates it to the node values here, and uh, boom, super handy. Set node transpose, uh, yeah, minus two, two plus three. Here the load instrument track. Uh, as you can see here, I'm loading the preset inside the instrument track here. Uh, what did we add here? So let's go to the first remote page. Uh, now you can add a second parameter here. Uh, it's a number and it's uh, the number of the remote control page you have. So you go to two and boom, it uh, sets it up here. And again, the uh, SMW show message window. Okay, so you're thinking maybe why bother with this? A uh, good question. Um, for me, uh, this was really, really uh, necessary because this is actually the official uh, live set I use with a band called Tenor Lion, uh, which I'm half of. Uh, you can check us uh, on Spotify here. I will provide the link in the descriptions. We just released uh, two singles. Uh, we're heavily influenced by uh, Massive Attack. Uh, and pour this head and the likes. Uh, so super proud of this one. Go and check us out. Um, so how do we play? Uh, mainly we have the singer Nela, who uh, a lot of the times with her left hand plays the, the bass section. So the keyboard is split in half. And uh, with her right hand, the main synth or, or uh, strings, for example. Um, but sometimes I play the bass uh, on track 2 here, as you see, uh, everything is grouped nicely. Sometimes I play uh, something different with the pads, the key step. So I needed to have a system uh, to do this uh, effortlessly, so that's why I created this whole Clific system. Um, so yeah, the key ranges uh, vary from song to song. So and if I have to go in in every uh, clip to do this uh, through the automation, it's it's horrible. Uh, also, uh, every song, then maybe your right hand, uh, the transpose needs to be set differently. And also for the loading of all the instruments, this is super easy, uh, super clean by name. Here you can, yeah, with one view, 
you can see uh, the settings you've set. Um, so this is uh, very handy to me. If you guys want, uh, I will create a video on how to play live with a band uh, using Bitwig. Uh, for example, uh, using uh, Sands to uh, yeah, put mixes inside your uh, in-ears and stuff. Uh, this is all in here. Um, so yeah, let me know. Uh, also, how can you support the project? You don't have to. Uh, I just created um, a Patreon. Uh, so if you open uh, the controllers here, you can go to my Patreon. I will link it also uh, below. So if you want, you can become a member uh, to support uh, everything. I'm putting everything out for free, so uh, don't feel obliged. But if you if you have something like this is cool and I want to support this, uh, please do. Uh, I will create a lot more commands in the future. And also if you guys have uh, ideas or commands that you want to see in there, let me know and I will try and implement them. Um, okay, so now... Uh, what is the display window you see up here? Uh, this is actually also uh, created in Java, but I created an app, an official <laughs> um, Mac app for this one because I was getting some security issues uh, when running the Java file. So for the moment it's only available on Mac uh, Silicon. Um, but uh, if you guys are interested, I can try and compile it on Windows too. So what do we have here? Um, this is the text that I display. This is very handy to me because uh, I tend to forget a lot of stuff when I'm playing uh, and when I'm stressed. So, yeah, like, uh, for instance, uh, the notes I have to play. Let's check here. So, for me, these are the notes I have to play during the song so I don't forget them. Um, here, also very handy to me is to have the remote controls page uh, per synth. As you can see, this, this is a different per synth that I play. So I can see what kind of uh, parameters I can uh, alter. And then in here, um, this section here, these are the first eight uh, tracks, the volumes. So here I'm playing, you can see the drum track here. Now, why was this necessary for me? Uh, I do my own mixes uh, on stage <laughs> for now until we uh, hopefully ever get money to uh, to pay uh, a mixer on stage. Uh, I wanted to have a clear view of my mixes when we play with a color scheme. So as you can see here, the drums are hitting around minus six. Uh, so that's still green, yellow. Uh, if I go over it you can see I'm hitting the reds so this is not uh, accurate the math um, but for me it's enough to see uh, for the guitar for example I need to be uh, greenish yellow uh, Nela her voice can be uh, also orange just below that's minus six and everything uh, above minus six is uh, is gonna show up as red so uh, we don't want that. So that's why I created that also for the master uh, track. You can see if I'm not going to the red. Uh, super handy to me and if you want to use it feel free. So uh, if you guys have any questions uh, please comment below. Uh, yeah, if you have suggestions or uh, crazy ideas let me know also in the comments. Uh, have a great day and see you next time. Take care.